go math. I'm going to be doing another problem as part of the Harvard Square MTEL math workshop series for teachers preparing for the math MTELs in Massachusetts. Uh, this is also, uh, these, these problems can be reviewed for other states and other state math exams for teachers and, you know, also for, you know, secondary uh, and middle school students as well because we're covering core concepts on all these tests. So it should, since we're covering core math, the Pythagorean theorem for teachers is going to be the same as the Pythagorean theorem for all um, individuals. So uh, keep that in mind. These skills are definitely transferable from the different, uh, you know, people that are, I work with. You know, whether you're a teacher, a student, a professional, all this is general math that's out there. And right now we're focusing on the geometry section of the general curriculum, which means we're going to be pulling up that geometry file of shapes and space. Um, and right away, when I look at this problem, guess what I see? I see angles. I see that in the visual diagram. That's what that little dot means. This means that this angle, this right here represents 15 degrees. This represents uh, 130 degrees. And right here in the language of it, it says that uh, we're involving angle. So I should be pulling up all my information about angles and what I remember and what I've studied. Um, here, let's read this. Three straight lines intersect to form a triangle as shown above. What is the measure of angle X? Now there's, there's a lot of core math here. It's going to be hard to review in a, in a couple minutes. But uh, let's start with the basics as fast as I can. If we deal with a circle, a circle, I think you would agree, is made up of 360 degrees. Is that fair? If we went all the way around this circle, it's 360. But what if we just went around half the circle? So we're dealing with an angle like that. Well, we call that 180 degrees, right? Okay. Well, what if I'm dealing with... What if I'm dealing with just a, uh, a straight line? Straight lines because I'm going around 180 degrees, we actually call all straight lines straight angles. Um, and this is because straight lines form straight angles. Straight angles is an angle that's made up of 180 degrees. Okay. Now, what if I'm dealing with a straight angle, or any, any line that you see, which is automatically a straight angle, and I divide it into two angles? I know the whole thing is equal to 180 degrees, but these two angles must add up to 180 degrees. So that's where we have something like 120 and 60. Well, if I, if I just told you that this was 120, and I was asking you to find out what x is, you could be like, since it forms a straight angle, or a straight line, which is made up of 180 degrees, and I know one side of it is 120, what would this x be? Well, that would be 180 subtracted by 120, which would get me 60. We call that right there supplementary angles. So I'm going to put a big S for supplementary. This right here represents supplementary angles. Okay, good fact to know. And another good fact to know, um, Supplementary. It's an A. Supplementary angles are two angles like A plus B that add up to 180 degrees. And you gotta remember that because supplementary forms a semicircle. That's our so that's one of our key um, math concepts that we're going to use to solve this. Another key one that you need to know is that a triangle, let's get some other colors, a triangle, when I add up all the angles of a triangle, they all add up to 180 degrees. And we say the inside angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. All right, so that's the second math fact. So if I, uh, using those two math facts, I'm going to solve this problem. Um, let, me, let me summarize. I'll just summarize with visuals. That's going to represent 
supplementary angles. And this is going to represent the inside angles of the triangle. Call this A, B, and C, adding up to 180. Okay? So remember those two rules. We're trying to find out what X is. How do I do that? Well, if I, if I knew what this angle was, then I could find out x. Well, how do I find out that angle? Well, what is this, what is this angle here? That's the supplement. So a supplement of 115, what do I add to 115 to get to 180? I would add 65. Now, what's this one right here? We didn't talk about this. This is actually our third one. We call this opposite angles. So this is 60 here. The opposite and equal angle would be 60. So this one would be 60. Now I'm going to use this one right here. So I use supplementary. Here's supplementary. I used opposite. Now I'm going to use this middle fact right here. What do I... something... It's a question mark. Something plus 60 plus 65 all has to add up to 180. What would that be? That's something right there. Wouldn't that be 55 degrees? It's a whole bunch of different ways you could get that. Now we go back to our supplementary angles. Now I know this is 55. What's its supplement? 55 plus what gets 180? Because I remember that forms a straight line. Then I have to do that right there and I get 125. Now there are faster and cooler ways to solve this, but I think for this basic skill and for not, not wanting to confuse you right now, I want you to focus in on supplementary angles. Those are two angles that form a straight line and add up to 180 degrees, so I can use supplementary angles here to find this missing angle. The inside angles of a triangle all have to add up to 180, so if I know two of the angles, I can find out that third angle in the triangle, and they all add up to 180. And opposite angles are equal. That means if I know this is 60, I know this one is also 60. Those three math facts will really help you on most of the, the angle problems that you see in these tests. There's a few more quick strategies that will help, but for now, memorize supplementary angles, opposite angles, and the sum of the interior angles of a triangle all add up to 180 degrees. Thank you very much for watching. Check out one of the Harvard Square Intel Math Workshops. Have a wonderful day. If you need help with one-to-one -one tutoring, you can get the help uh, via the website and contact me directly. Thank you, everyone. Take care.